Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another Melted video. This week, or I guess it was actually last week, I melted um, Beachy Scents again. I knew I wanted to do another beach theme. I had said that on my previous beach video that I wanted to do another one before summer was over. So I went ahead and did it last week. Some of the scents are repeats from the previous Melted Beach video, so I probably won't touch on those too much. Others were completely new to me since. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. So the first two, wanna, first two I'm gonna go over are actually ones that I don't have the packaging for anymore. I don't remember what happened to the packaging to be quite honest, but they were both Ramble on Wax. The first one was Cocoa Beach. And it was a ramble bar, which if you've seen my Instagram, those are the ones that have the music notes on them. And Cocoa Beach is sea kelp, seagrass, salty sea air, and musk, I believe. That one was really good. That one actually threw at like an eight out of 10. I really enjoyed it. It was a very fresh, watery scent. It actually reminded me of like a watery cucumber type scent. I really, really enjoyed it. Super duper fresh, freshened up the whole house and through for about six to seven hours. I thoroughly enjoyed that one. I'm sorry I don't have the packaging to show you guys, but it is called Cocoa Beach. And if you like beachy scents, that one is spectacular. The other one I melted is Fireworks at Dawn, which is Salty Sea Air and Creamsicle. Unfortunately, that one I got next to nothing next to nothing. If I hovered over the warmer, I could smell it. It smelled really good on fret, on cold. It smelled like a creamsicle mixed with a fresh scent, which is what it's supposed to be. But on warm, I'm going to give it a three. It was a very poor performer in my house. Didn't, didn't smell it. I mean, honestly, didn't smell it at all. I think maybe one time ever while it was melting, I got a whiff of it. So wouldn't repurchase that one, but Cocoa Beach, I totally would. Okay, getting into everything else. And like I said, some of these are gonna be repeats and some of them are new scents that I didn't melt because I didn't have last time. So right off the bat, Tiffany Candles Black Coconut with Beach Overpour. I'm obsessed with this one. I love this one. I think I still have three melts of it. I've melted it quite a lot this summer because I think I had like 10 or 11 of these little chunklets in the bag. Absolutely love this one. So this is black coconut Yankee candle type. Sorry about my nails, guys. This is black coconut Yankee candle type and um, beach, which is like a suntan type scent. I super love this one and it performs really, really well. Threw it a nine out of 10, throws it a nine out of 10 every time. I had always previously melted it just in my bedroom. This time around, I did melt it throughout the house. So I had it in my candle air, I had it in my glades, and I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10 and would absolutely repurchase this one. And I'm super glad that I still have more of it. Beach Towels by Southbound Soap Company. I had melted this in June when it was a little less than a month old and did not have good results with the throw. This is crisp ozone, salty sea spray, seaweed, aquatic florals, and warm, clean beach towels on the sand. This one, I didn't have good throw at all when I melted it in June. It did not do much better this time around. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I am, I think last time I gave it a three or a four. Honestly, I'm pretty much gonna keep it there, maybe bump it up to a five, but another month of cure time did not do anything for me on this one. Now, that being said, both times that I melted it, I melted it in my bedroom. So what I'm doing with this is, I don't know if I will melt it, sometimes in the winter when it's like really cold, I get kind of rebellious and bust out some beach scents. So I don't know if I'll do it then or if I'll just hang on to it for next summer but I will melt it in other warmers because this fragrance seems to get a lot of really, really good reviews from people that have melted it. So 
it, I, again, I don't ever want to blame the wax. I would rather blame myself, my house, my airflow, my warmer, something. So I'm going to try it again. But for now, I'm just going to put it away. Um, it's a really, really nice, like, clean laundry scent on cold. But I don't get hardly anything out of it on warm at all. At all. So I'm going to put it away until um, either the dead of winter or next summer. And then I will melt it all around the house and see if I get any better results with this one. Um, let's see here. H. Wood Vetiver by Scoopable Tart Wax. So this is a really complex blend that has a lot of notes and I can't remember them off the top of my head. This is so freaking good though. I mean, what I did was I took one of the ice cream scoops. So here's half of an ice cream scoop and I cut it again. So I basically cut it in fourths Melted it in my bedroom. This is one of those ones that lingers for like 24 hours because I melted it at night. It was a bedtime melt and got up the next morning, went to work and came home from work. And by then it had probably been in for a good 18 to 19 hours, walked in my bedroom and it was the first thing I could smell. Super, super, super strong. This is like one of those 11 out of 10 throws. As far as the scent, it's definitely a beachy, perfumey scent. It's not going to be for everybody, but I absolutely loved it. It reminded me a little bit of like a unisex perfume. Super enjoyed that. Would totally repurchase that. But if you have one of these ice cream scoops, cut these things in fourths instead of in half. Most scents will throw pretty well if you cut them in fourths. Some I have had to cut in half, but something like this that's super strong fourths is all you need. I meant melted Latin heap, heat, which is Lily's Cantaloupe and Ocean Waves. This is by the Posh Olive. This is one I was going to melt it all throughout the house. And then I decided I liked it so much that I was just going to keep this as a bedroom melt. And so I only melted two out of the six cubes and I'm going to hang on to the rest for a little bit longer. This is so interesting and so unique. This is like that perfect fruity, floral, fresh scent. Again, this is not going to be for everybody and we will just pretend like we didn't all see that Harley Quinn hair on there. This is not going to be for everybody. This is going to be for the fruity floral fresh lover because you can definitely smell the lily so it's it's a floral now this isn't any time of year melt for me but i'll probably hang on to it i don't know i don't want to hang on to soy wax for too long but as a bedroom melt i could do it any time of year so i'm gonna i'm gonna keep this as a bedroom melt absolutely love this scent it's just so unique the cantaloupe is in there it just gives it this nice fresh watery fruity scent and then the ocean waves obviously adding some freshness a little bit of perfume and the lilies for the floral it's just one of those scents you kind of have to smell it to really understand but i absolutely love this now for the throw it is lighter it was a seven out of ten but i would absolutely repurchase it based on just what a pretty scent it was and how unique it is. I melted Bergamot Pink Sugar Salty Sea Air by the Glitterati Candle Company. This one is another one that kind of reminds me of almost a unisex perfume. It leans a little bit more towards feminine because of the pink sugar. But it does remind me a little bit of like a unisex perfume. You really get the pink sugar first and foremost, and then the salty sea air and the bergamot, which is a citrus fruit, like a dark citrus fruit. They just kind of add to it. This isn't one of Glitterati's absolutely most strongest scents in my opinion. This one threw it about an eight, which most of them in my house throw at a nine or a 10. Would I buy this again? Um, 
I would melt it if I got it in a mystery box. I mean, with Glitterati, it's hard because what I have to do is imagine in my head, if I had a Glitterati custom order, would this be on it? And it's so hard to get an order in with Glitterati unless you're just getting mystery boxes. That's really, really difficult for me to say, yeah, I'd absolutely do that. But this one, like sniffing it, I still have one melt of it left because her wax a little really goes a long way. See, there's like a quarter of a scent shot there and that's one melt. But smelling it on cold, I might, if I had a custom order, get a couple of chunks of this because it, it was a really nice bedroom scent. And, um, but it threw it about an eight out of 10. <clears throat> Let's see. I melted Capistrano Beach by the Posh Olive, Sandy Beach and Salty Ocean Air. This is just that quintessential like beachy scent. It doesn't smell like suntan lotion to me. It was more like literally the actual ocean more than like everybody being at the beach. You know, like some, some beachy fragrances smell more like the people at the beach. You know, the, the tropical drinks and the suntan lotion and the sunscreen and all of that atmosphere that goes into the beachy scent. That's what a lot of beachy scents smell like and I love that, but this was more like just being on the beach maybe walking in the surf completely alone. It was the natural element of the beach. You get the wateriness, the sandy beach, the air, and I love this. This was not a super strong thrower. This was about a seven out of 10 as well. I would probably repurchase this. It's not one of my absolute favorites, from the Posh Olive, but I did really enjoy it. So that one is Capistrano Beach. I melted Beach Hair by Golden Willow Waxes, Ozone, Sea Salt, Seaweed, and Water Lily. I had two of these. This one is more of, this one reminded me more of a floral fresh that Water Lily was really standing out when it was melting and more than a beach scent, it honestly reminded me of my parents back in like the 90s and early 2000s. My parents had a koi pond and that is really what it reminded me of more than like oceanic. It reminded me of like a pond or if you're like at, if you're at like an outdoor garden, like a nursery and there's like water gardens there. That's what this reminded me of. I really did like this. It wasn't super strong. Again, probably about a seven on the scale, but I would repurchase this because I did really enjoy having that like freshwater koi pond experience, but it didn't really smell beachy to me. It smelled more like like, a, like I said, like a water garden, but I loved it. I would probably repurchase that. Um, let's see here. Another one from the Posh Olive I melted was Flight 001. I think I've reviewed this one once before. Plumeria, pineapple, coconut cream. I absolutely love this one. This one is 100% a repurchase for me. This one throws at a nine out of 10. It is one of her stronger ones. This one reminds me super a lot of like a vacation to Hawaii or to a tropical island. You get the plumeria, which is a tropical floral. You get the pineapple, which is obviously pineapple. And then the coconut cream just kind of, you know, creams it out. It reminds me a lot of sitting on a beach somewhere tropical and drinking a pina colada. I mean, it was so, so, so good. So this one's a stronger thrower. We'll totally purchase this one again next year, spring and summer. I think a lot of these that are left are Zate Bath. Um, let's see. Oh, here's another. Um, 
Golden Willow Waxes. This is her Gallet and sea, sea Glass. I melted this last beachy time, so I won't go into it too much, but this one is a fresh cut grass, plus sparkling mojito, plus European Holiday, which is a spa blend. And I believe, even though it doesn't say on here, that she over poured them in beach hair. So I love this. I would repurchase this every single time she poured it, if she would pour this combination again. This is so good. It's got that fresh cut grass, which you guys know is my favorite thing from Golden Willow Waxes. And the European Holiday is really good too. That's a really nice spa blend. And I really like beach hair. Your sparkling Mojito add just adds a little tiny, tiny bit of mint to it to freshen it up a little bit more. But all together, it's an amazing scent. This one throws out a nine out of 10. And I would absolutely repurchase the sea glass galette if she poured it again i melted i'm reaching off to the side now paradise which is pink sands and chocolate orchid by l3 waxy wonders this one is a blend from my custom scoopables this one performs exceedingly well every single time that i melt it I think I might have even melted it all throughout the house this time rather than just in my bedroom. This is a 9 out of 10 thrower, a beautiful, beautiful tropical beachy scent. And I would totally repurchase this. I would repurchase this from any vendor that wanted to pour these two together. A lot of vendors pour Pink Sands, a lot of vendors pour Chocolate Orchid. Not too many vendors blend them, but I absolutely love them as a blend and would would try it from pretty much any any vendor. Oh, it's so good. I melted No Woman No Cry California Dream and Tambourine Man. This is Camu Camu Sweet Coconut Mango Sorbet Yuzu and like papaya. It's a whole bunch of different fruits. I melted this in my bedroom. It's a little over a year old. This did pretty well. Pretty well, which is crazy because I remember hauling this last year. And it was like when I opened the bag, when I got it in June of 2016, I opened the bag and I got a wax smell. It smelled like nothing. And I was like, you've got to be kidding. How could this smell like nothing? But I'll tell you what, after a year of curing, it smells like heaven. It is tropical, fruity, paradise. It threw at a nine out of 10. I absolutely loved it. And it threw for about eight hours. So it did very, very well, considering last year I couldn't smell it at all. And I would totally repurchase it, although this bag's almost full, so I'm not gonna need to anytime soon. Uh, another one that I melted was Big Bird. I've really been enjoying this. This is also Vintage Chic Scents. I've really been enjoying this. This is like that perfect creamy pina colada blend. This is so tropical and it's hilarious because it has banana in it. But the banana, all it does in this blend is add a little bit of a, of a candy-ish sweetness. Like it doesn't smell like banana to me. It's just, it's pineapple amped up a notch and then coconut cream. So it, it's so good. Oh my gosh. I would repurchase this in a heartbeat. I still have quite a bit of it left, but this always throws at like a 10 out of 10. I love this scent. I'm obsessed with Big Bird. It's so good. And uh, yeah, always a good experience. I've melted that three or four times this summer because it's so good. Um, and then the last bag is Sunday Shop, which has nothing to do with Beachy. I just wanted to go ahead and review it since I'm making this video. This is like a strawberry waffle cone scent. And I melted this when I was in transition from one um, melting basket to another. This is really good. This is really good. I love Kirby Strawberry. I mean, Kirby, she uses strawberry in so many dang blends. But that's because it's 
fabulous. Her strawberry is so freaking good. Oh, this is so good. It's strawberry and waffle cone and something else. Um, the throw was about par for the course. It was about an 8 out of 10. I wouldn't say super duper strong, smacking in the face. I melted it in my bedroom. And the bag is over a year old. I got it the same restock that I got that other one, the No Woman, No Cry, California Dreamin'. Um, and this was my first time melting it ever. And I really enjoyed it. I would repurchase this one. It's not like at my top VCS scents ever. Like I always have to have it, but it is a good strawberry bakery scent and I really enjoyed it. Okay, the rest of these I believe are from, nope, we got one more. Um, Let's see. Oh, Purple Fox by the Sea. Salty Sea Air, Fresh Air and Seagrass. I love this. This was so good and fresh. Oh. This was so, so good. Had I known I was gonna enjoy this as much as I did, I would have purchased it in her previous restock where she had it available, but I didn't, so I will wait and get some next year. This one threw at like a nine out of 10, super good. It was just you know, like your classic fresh scent. I mean, that's kind of grassy, watery, kind of smell the salty sea air. And uh, it, 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 was, it was a good one, though. It was a strong one. So I would definitely buy that. The rest of these are from the Zape Bath Love My Beaches sampler, which I hauled like a month and a half ago, sometime in June, I think. And I melted all of them but two. I hoarded Malibu Barbie because I don't have any more of it. And Pineapple Fizzy Pop is the other one, and I think I'm melting that this week. I think it's in my current melting basket. Everything else got melted, so I'll go over those really quickly. We're kind of getting long on time, but uh, let's see. So beach towels, fluffy towels, coconut, and lemongrass. I don't like lemongrass, so this one was one I was kind of dreading, to be honest. But it actually ended up being a pretty decent melt. I wouldn't go out of my way to purchase it on its own simply because of the lemongrass, but I did enjoy it. This one threw at about an eight out of 10. And I melted this in my two Glade warmers. As far as the scent, I didn't really get a whole lot of the fluffy towels like the, the laundry type scent um, or the coconut. It was predominantly lemongrass, although I did enjoy it. Like if I had to purchase lemongrass, it would be from Zape. But maybe, the reason I was able to tolerate it is because it was blended with that clean and the coconut. I don't know, I really liked it. It was an eight out of 10. As far as purchasing it again on its own, you know, again, just as a scent preference, I probably wouldn't. But if somebody gave me some or I got, again, got it again in a sampler, I would melt it. Surf Shop, Coconut Water, Pineapple, Citrus, and Vanilla. This one was my like second or third favorite out of the whole sampler on cold. Oh my gosh. It's so good on cold. Like just sniffing the bag. I absolutely love this on cold. This one did not throw on warm. It was the only one out of the sampler. So overall, I mean, just as a spoiler alert, overall, very good results with the sampler, and I loved it. This one was a dud. I think I just didn't cure it enough. This one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this a two. I never smelled it, not once. Not once. And it was in my candle air. So if it's in my candle air and it doesn't throw, we've got a problem. And I think the problem was that I just didn't cure it that long, and it's a lighter scent. So would I purchase it again? Uh, based on the cold scent, I probably would give this another try. And I would just cure it for three or four months before I melted it. But um, I got nothing out of this one. Toes in the Sand, Coconut, and Sweet Vanilla. I absolutely love this one. Throws like a beast. 
This one gets a 9 out of 10. It's a, it's a very sweet scent because you get that fresh coconut, which is kind of sweet on its own, and then the added vanilla to it. Oh, my gosh. It's so freaking good. I love this one. I would repurchase it. I have repurchased it, and just a really, really stellar performance every single time. Sea glass, sea salt, grapefruit, avocado, and white rose. I love this one too. This was another, another lighter one. It wasn't as light as Surf Shop. I got a 6 out of 10 out of this one. I absolutely love this scent. This one is like a floral fresh. Um, the grapefruit doesn't really add any fruitiness to it. If anything, it adds more freshness. And um, so yeah, this is a this is a floral fresh fan freaking tastic bathroom melt. It's Lindsay Love says that this one smells soapy to her, and it kind of does. I love scents like that. I love a scent that smells like a fancy hotel soap. And that's exactly what this smells like. So I would totally purchase this one again. Not a super strong thrower, but if I did get it again, this is another one that I would let sit and cure for a while. This was another one of my favorites out of the sampler. Beachbound. Beachbound is the queen of this sampler. Beach and sunshine, which basically means that it smells like suntan lotion. It smells exactly like the suntan candle um they called it suntan at first and then they renamed it poolside and then it went back to suntan is a bath and body works candle that smells exactly like suntan lotion i mean that's exactly what it smells like this one performs at like a 12 out of 10 it is, blows my mind how strong this is and it throws forever too, like for probably 12 hours, legitimately. I love this one. I will repurchase this every single freaking time that she pours it, every single time. This is like the queen of the beachy scents in my opinion. So, so stellar. And then this last one right here is the Hampton Sea Salt Amber Ocean Breeze and Money. It's really Sea Salt Amber and Ocean Breeze. And for some reason, I can't remember this one. Let me smell the bag. Okay, this one was about average. This one was about average. This was about a 7 out of 10, 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10. Um, it did throw pretty well. This one is more perfumey. So out of the whole bunch, this one's probably the most of the perfumey, you really get the amber out of this one. I liked it, I liked it a lot. I would probably purchase this individually at some point if she were to offer it. Not one of the very strongest ones out of the bunch, but not the weakest one out of the bunch either. So I did like this one. So overall, I had a good week. I had a couple little duds here and there. But I really, really, really enjoyed doing like the full week of Beachy Scents twice this year. I really, really liked that. I'm going to try to aim to do that every summer. You know, like have two weeks dedicated to just Beachy Scents because I really enjoy my Beachy Scents. But that is it for this video. My melting basket that I'm currently working through right now is just a gamut of all the fruity fizzy that I can possibly cram into it before, because this is my last summer melting basket. And then I will go into transition, which is carnival sense after that. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.